Good evening, everybody. Blessings. It's Amanda. I'm coming to you Friday night. I came home tonight to sleep at home from the hospital. I was there last night. I'm trying to do every other night. I wanted to give you an update, and I wanted to talk about some things the Lord said to me and was showing me, and I'm going to kind of go with the Holy Spirit on this. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We praise you that you are God, that you are always faithful, that there is none like you, Father. We acknowledge as we come to your throne that you sent your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, to die a death that he didn't deserve, to save us from eternity without you that we did deserve. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus, consume this broadcast, consume this place, Father God. Let your warring angels of flaming swords be dispatched to stand guard, Lord, around us as we do this broadcast, Father God. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, have your way for your glory. Amen. So, yes, I'm in the office. You heard Grace. You will be hearing her chime in, Grace, my dove, throughout this broadcast. Um... Chris is right now, he has a traumatic brain injury, okay? And praise God they took the, it's the, the feeding tube out. But he, he's eating very little food. So they're going to give it a few days and maybe they're going to discuss their options of what to do, okay? Because he's not understanding. With brain injuries, people become very combative. Now he's better with me, but with a lot of other people around him and nurses too, um, he's very combative, uh, and he doesn't even know he's doing it. So you kind of have to take it in stride, but it's traumatic even, uh, to watch as an adult someone go through this. So, but I know God has already defeated this in the spirit realm. This has already been defeated and he, Chris has already been healed and he still has no use of his right arm. He is confused. He... Uh, knows some faces and doesn't seem to know others. And um, basically, he is not processing things in his head the way he should because there's bruising on the brain and his brain went through a lot of trauma with everything that had to be done and the clot that was in there and the, and the rare um, entanglement of vessels called the AVM and the subdural hematoma, the pool of blood and the brain flame. There was a lot that, it is a miracle Chris survived. It is. It's a miracle. It's an act of God that he survived. So please continue to pray because um, they're going to try to now get in contact with the, with the rehab. And they're going to try to figure out uh, what is the best uh, course of action now to go. Uh, the main focus is getting... Chris well, that is my main focus right now, is getting him well, making sure he gets the best care he can possibly get, and um, protecting him right now, as I know the Lord is doing also. So uh, the doctor said it's like a roller coaster, one day you're up, one day you're down kind of with this until uh, the brain begins to completely come back. So, and that's what it's kind of been like. And um, I have to say, Chris has uh, some wonderful nurses. Uh, he really does. And I have enjoyed getting to know them. And I have been giving my testimony to the nurses uh, and to the doctors. And so I have been trying to be um, a light in the middle of this for the Lord and for his glory. And um, yeah, so basically that is what's going on. Uh, he still has a lot going on with his brain. He has a pick line in now. They had to put a central line in they could, because he just, his veins aren't conducive. He's not a good stick when it comes to IVs. So they did that too. And, um, they're throwing around a few other ideas that I'll get into as they transpire. So please continue to pray. Um, the Lord can obviously accelerate things, but there is a road ahead of Chris but I will tell you something the Lord told me today on the way home. I was coming home from the hospital and the Lord said to me, Amanda, your husband is under construction right now. He's under. Now, that was really interesting for the Lord to say because Chris is a master carpenter and he can build a house from nothing. Anything you need in a house, build it from the ground up. 
So for the Lord to tell me, your husband is under construction, I found that fascinating uh, and uh, and pretty um, sensitive and amazing on the Lord's part to tell me that your husband is under construction. And so I, you know, the Lord has been saying different things to me throughout this whole trial. And when he spared Chris's life, he said to me, see Amanda, I am faithful. He is called faithful. And now he's telling me, your husband is under construction, which means the Lord thy God is building a whole new man. And I'm just going to go with the Holy Spirit tonight. So I'll say by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, may only the truth come forth. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord is constructing a whole new man from the ground up. He uh, Everything has been torn down to the studs, to nothing and leveled. And now he is under construction. And when a home is under construction, okay, or somebody is under construction, it is a process. There's piece by piece that gets built in this process. So when something is under construction, it is in the process of having added to it what is necessary to make it the best person, house, home it can be, to make it the best it can be, to make it the most functioning and the most beautiful, right? Because there's aesthetics involved. And so under construction, okay, like a roadway is under construction. They are in the process of fixing that roadway. And that's what that meant. The Lord is in the process of fixing Chris. Because you see, Chris went to Bible college. He went to Bible college to become a youth pastor, okay? He has a degree from a Bible college, okay? And Chris got off track into the world of construction that led him into some other things, okay? So the Lord, all these years later, is bringing things full circle. And that is something we need to pay attention to. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He is bringing things full circle and bringing Chris back to the starting point he should have been at when he got out of college to raise him up into ministry. So yes, the Holy Spirit and the Lord are right now bringing things full circle so they can be dealt with, so they can uh, be positioned, so people can then get a second chance at doing truly what God has called them to do where they may have gotten off track, okay? And in a way, Chris got off track. The Lord allowed it because Chris has a great talent for building and he will probably always love to build things. However, I believe the Lord has put that part of Chris's life to bed with this. And the Lord thy God is going to raise Chris up now to be in ministry with the desire of his heart, what he went to college for. That was the desire of his heart to do. And the Lord thy God is bringing things full circle in order to give you the desire of your heart that you might have missed years ago. But the Lord right now, in get into position, he's bringing it back around. So you get that second chance to take a step out in faith and to go forth, to go forth in the name of the Lord, doing his will for your life. And the second chances are coming around now. And they are coming around simultaneously while the Lord is building up things in your life, constructing things in your life, making sure things are properly repaired. And that is another part of being under construction, where the Lord makes sure things are properly repaired. And that is what he is doing with Chris right now. He is making sure things are going to be properly repaired this time. Okay. And what is twisted and confused, the Lord is making untwisted. Okay. He is making the crooked path straight and he is repairing and getting rid and expelling that confusion. Okay. From Chris's life, his decisions, his thought pattern. 
So by the time the Lord is done, Chris is truly a new creation in Christ, a new man with a new purpose, with a new lease on life, with a new outlook, with a new mission, okay? With a new assignment, because when things are coming full circle right now, the new assignments are attached to them. And these new assignments have to do with things that you years ago wanted to do that you might have missed because things got off course. The Lord is setting the course now. He is setting the course and bringing things back on course in order to produce and bring forth, okay? Bring forth the best fruit, the best witness out of people that he can bring right now for his glory. So this is very important that things are coming full circle and it goes in line with what I was saying from the Holy Spirit. And Kelly was saying on her show, Kelly Marie on Facebook, I was on her Facebook live uh, a couple of nights ago. You can go on my Facebook page and check it out. But I was saying, this is the Lazarus year where things are resurrected, okay? So when this is coming full circle, what you thought was lost is going to be resurrected. Chris thought he lost his chance to be in ministry until he saw what the Lord did with me. And now the Lord put me through my paces and how he raised me up and gave me a testimony and a voice for his glory. And Chris began to see this and he began to have hope. I saw it in him that maybe, just maybe, the Lord would give him a chance at ministry. And the Lord thy God is going to give Chris that chance that he thought was lost, that he thought was gone, that he thought was dead. And Lazarus here going to resurrect it and bring it back around in order for you to get the second chance at doing what the Lord has called you to do and walking in his perfect will and seeing when you walk in his perfect will, how things operate like a well-oiled machine and how the favor of God just rains down on you like the latter rains, okay? The latter rain shall be greater than the former rain, says the Lord thy God. Like the latter rains, okay? It'll be like a faucet opened up because I am experiencing this. It'll be like a faucet opened up because you have stepped into the will of God. You have accepted the challenge that he has given you. You have accepted the position. You have accepted walking out something that might be difficult with your spouse. You have accepted it. You have embraced it. And you have decided to be obedient to the Lord and do it. And when that happens, windows of heaven are opening now to pour out upon you such a blessing, there won't be room enough to receive it. It will actually feel overwhelming. That's the amount of blessing coming in. Because when you have positioned yourself now, and things have come full circle, and you have decided to be obedient and yield to the Lord, those windows of heaven are opening right now to pour out upon you every resource, every bit of wisdom, every bit of understanding, every bit of favor and opportunity, okay, that you need to complete the task at hand. When the Lord gives you a task, okay, when the Lord gives you a task and you are obediently submitting to it, knowing it's difficult, swallowing things of the past, kind of, and moving ahead, the Lord will equip you with every good and perfect and wonderful thing that you need to complete the task that he has called you to do. The perfect will that what he created you to be, because there are things we are good at and we have talent for, but we weren't necessarily created to do it. Okay. I, I'm good at numbers. I'm also highly creative and can draw and can design things, but that's not what I was called to be. I was called to be in service to the Lord and to be in ministry and to prophetically minister, okay, to people and to countries for the Lord thy God so people can be fed and they can get insight 
and they can be drawn in closer with the Lord. Because as things are coming full circle right now, the Lord is drawing you into him under his wings. He is Psalm 91. He is drawing you in right now. Okay. And under his wings, you will take refuge. And as you are now coming back in to this Lazarus year, things coming full circle, being resurrected, what you thought was lost, the opportunity you thought was lost, the relationship you thought was lost, the finances you thought were lost, the position you thought was lost, will be resurrected and brought forth for you to take a step out in faith and persevere and go forth in the Lord, knowing that he has aligned things into divine order in order to unlock a door that had been locked all this time for you to walk over that threshold into what he had willed for your life years ago. And this is where we are at right now, okay? And when you accept also being a servant, okay? Being a servant to somebody else or being in service, okay? You do it for the Lord. You do it for the Lord, okay? Because many times when you when you go into a task like that or a trial like that, okay? That other person can't do much for you. But you're pouring out onto them from the Lord, into them from the Lord. And the Lord is opening up the windows of heaven and showering down on you a rain, a glistening, heavenly, favor-filled rain that is filling up, okay, filling up those oil jars, Filling up those oil jars, okay, like the widow, okay, with her son. Filling up those oil jars and continuing to fill them till the task is completed. Those oil jars will not run dry, says the Lord. Those oil jars will not run dry, says the Lord. And as long as you are faithful and you are obedient and you walk it out with him, no matter how difficult it is, okay, and you walk it out in perseverance, and you walk it out speaking life, and you walk it out no matter how pressure field it fills in the refining process, as gold is refined, you walk it out, the Lord thy God is going to make sure that every good and perfect thing that comes from him will manifest in your life. Manna, key word, fest in your life. Fresh manna is being poured out on the people of God right now. And it is going to provide them incredible fortitude, wisdom, energy, insight, knowledge, revelation, um, abilities to see and hear in the spirit. There's a fresh manna being poured out right now. Take of it. Their oil is being filled in the jars continually. So you, in the middle of chaos, in the middle of disaster, in the middle of trial, will be generously provided for, for your obedience to the Lord, for your submission to the Lord, because obedience is better than sacrifice, says the Lord thy God this day. And this is a special oil. This is a heavenly oil. This is a blessed oil, says the Lord, that is going to not only provide, but it is going to coat and cover you. Coat and cover you and protect you, and it's going to basically be like a spiritual covering, like a spiritual blanket that anoints you because of the position you are coming into. And the Lord thy God is anointing his people right now to come in because out of pain is going to be birthed greatness. Out of pain is going to be birthed something that is incredible and new and in order, okay? And in order and favored and oozing the light and the power and the anointing of Almighty God. So take heart today. Hold fast to your faith. Press towards the mark of the high calling and watch the Lord do the most incredible incredible miracles right now in your life. God bless you. I love you all. Keep the faith.